Hey everyone, it's Elise Lumen Strife and welcome back to my page. I have been tagged by Len Wollston to do the story idea tag originally created by Brooke and Bethany and I super super love Len. She is just such a wonderful supportive woman and if you are a writer or an author or looking to become an author, uh, she has some great videos, some tips and um, advice on her page and I would highly recommend that you check it out. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first question is, what is my current story? So I don't really have one in particular because I'm always kind of working on multiple projects. I'm working on my Infinite Spark series. My first book, I am revamping and I'm gonna uh, republish it in a few months. The second book is being edited right now, so that'll be published shortly after that. And the third book I'm writing, and it's just about complete, so we'll see where that goes. Um, but in general, it's a science fiction fantasy about futuristic, kind of dystopian setting of Earth, um, you know, alien invasions and that kind of stuff, so it's fun. Uh, number two is Spark of Inspiration, so how do my stories begin? Uh, it is totally random. I mean, it could be something I see that's just kind of odd walking down the street and it'll just set off like this domino effect in my mind and then I realize I've walked like all the way home and I don't remember walking home because <laughs> I was making making up the story in my head. <laughs> so I, I, I do that uh, a little bit on the attention deficit side, I think, uh, but a lot of it also comes from dreams because I just, I have such vivid um, night visions that you know, I have to get up and write them down or I won't be able to go back to sleep because my brain will just be turning the idea over until I complete a, enough of a story that I can say, okay, I've tied up the ends, I can go to bed now. <laughs> uh, number three is brainstorm. So how do I piece elements together and where do I start? Um, they're really, I'm a panster, so it, it really kind of just happens however it does, and I, I let it do what it needs to. I'm not going to try to put uh, brackets around something that's, not, you know, it's a wild animal. Um, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll see something and it'll make me think of, you know, a particular moment, and then I'll build an entire story around that moment. And, and I, you know, it just kind of whatever feels right for it. If it feels like it's something that would be closer to the end of a story, then I then that's where it'll sit, um, you know, and then I'll kind of branch out from there. So for the most part, my inspiration builds a, a, a moment in a story, and then I have to figure out how to weave them all together. For question number four, how do I keep or toss an idea? I think it's just mostly the the completeness of the concept when I get it. Like, does it seem like it's it's more than that moment. Do I feel more when I'm when I'm playing it out in my mind, or is it something that's kind of like a, oh that's cool, you know, like a commercial kind of thing? <laughs> if I'm just watching commercials, then I'm probably not going to turn it into a story. <laughs> um, how much of my original idea do I keep? That is hard to say because I have so many of them and. I mean, you know, when you go through the editing process, you're you're going to change and revise a lot of things just to make them clearer. Uh, but in general, you know, if, if you're talking about the, the very basic concept, I usually don't change it very much unless there's a component that, you know, it just refuses to align with the rest of the story, in which case then, you know, I would change it. But things evolve, and, and when they evolve, they, you know, they require that certain things be omitted. So it happens occasionally, um, but I can't say that, that, you know, I always change it or I always don't. You know, it always, it depends on what, what the idea is. Number six is hide or share my ideas. Do I hide or share my ideas? Uh, <laughs> Well, if I had a lot of people that I talked to, I think this might be more of an issue. Um, I, I share some ideas with Len and, and, you know, kind of, you know, talk things over. Because sometimes you want to know, like, am I crazy for thinking this? Am I crazy for wanting to do this? Um, so for sanity's sake, then yes, I would share my ideas. 
because I don't think that, and, and I understand the, uh, the hesitancy to share ideas because you don't want someone else to steal your idea, but I mean, really, like, <laughs> there are tons of vampire romances out there and they're all different. They all have their own little elements, you know, that, that's just an example. <laughs> You know what what I think of when when I think of space and aliens and whatnot is gonna be very different from what somebody else might you know because they've lived a different life they've been influenced by different things you know so I, I don't really worry about sharing sharing my ideas uh, number seven is have any of my ideas come from dreams I think we've covered that quite a few of them do so number eight is similar ideas to what's on TV I, I think I've had ideas that have been on TV, but, you know, just, you know, I think we've all probably seen something somewhere that we've thought of, and it could be that maybe we encountered it before, it gave us the idea, and then we saw it again, um, but for me, a lot of the time, I see something, and I'm like, oh man, why didn't I think of that, because it's just so cool, and, you know, like, they put you know some some wit into it you know the, the title or or something and I'm just like oh man that is just it just really hits you you know because it's just that good and I want I want to have that I want to be like that so for me I think it's more of seeing other things and then wishing I had that idea um, number nine is have any of my favorite shows inspired my writing and I have to say I'm a Trekkie <laughs> my husband is into Star Wars so every time we watch Star Trek he hums the Star Wars theme song uh, but in general you know I think that watching that when I was a child kind of inspired a lot of my dreams and uh, from my dreams come my stories so I guess you know in a roundabout way yes <laughs> not consciously um, I try to come up with something new because I don't I don't want to be uh, the same as as everybody else you know it's that's the joy of being a creative person is that you can come up with your own you know your your own unique twist on everything number 10 is oldest story idea well, I can't really say that I have story ideas other than my first book I mean, I, I had a, I wrote a story when I was in fourth grade, and I don't know, it was something about riding in a car around a mountain, there was like kissing in it or something, you know, when you're in mount, elementary school, <laughs> your priorities are, are very simple, <laughs> I guess. Um, but Stellar Fusions, my first book, really is my first story idea, and it was just something that, like, I, I had the dream, and I woke up the next morning, and I had to write it down. There was no option. I don't know why. Um, it was, it was just, it was like being hungry. It was like I was starved. Like I had, I had to do it. And then I've just kept working on it and, and I keep working on it. <laughs> you know, I, I never really was a, a creative writer and I always felt like it was frowned upon to want a creative career, even though I've always been a creative person. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I am tagging Amber, Skip, Nicholas, JC, Samantha, Kristen, and Aaron. So even if you can't do a video, I would love to see your responses. Um, you can post them somewhere else on social media, but I would love to hear um, what your thoughts are, what your answers are to the questions, and thanks for watching, and I hope that everyone's having a great day, and stick around. For more videos in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. I also have some tips for those of you that spend a lot of time sitting at a desk, and I'll get more of those videos made soon. Uh, it's hot in Texas, so that's why it's a little dark. <laughs> my RV's kind of a cave, and there's no background music because I have my AC running constantly. I kind of figured that counted as background music. <laughs> it's distracting enough anyway.